How's it going guys? Hugh Richardson from OnlineBassGuitar.com here. So today we're going to be looking at bass amp plugins. So in this video we're going to be looking at one free plugin, one paid plugin, and what I've called one semi-free, semi-paid plugin. We're going to listen to audio examples from each one and then at the end of the video I'm going to tell you which option I think is the best one for you to take. So this is how the bass sounds completely clean, no amp plugins or anything like that. Then as we review each option, I'm going to load that plugin onto that same bass recording so you can hear the difference it makes. If you want to get more information or check out customer reviews of any of the plugins I've talked about, I've left links to all of them down below in the description. So the first option is what I've called the semi-free, semi-paid option. Now these are the amp plugins that come with a lot of doors these days. So the reason I call it semi-free, semi-paid is you obviously don't have to pay anything extra to get them, but you do have to buy the software in the first place. So I'm using an amp plugin that's come with Logic. The plugin that I'm using is called an amp egg so no prizes for guessing what that's an emulation of So to my ear, this does sound like a solid imitation. It does beef up the sound a little bit, but I think it does also lack a bit of definition that you would get from either just recording an amp regularly or from a slightly better plugin. But if you check out this screenshot that I took, you can see you do get quite a few options for customization. So you can change the microphones, you can change the mic placement, you can change the cabinets, you can change the output, and you've also got all the EQ dials that you would expect to get on the front of a regular amp. So whilst this one does lack a bit of character in my opinion, you have to remember that this is just one of several presets that you will get in Logic, and it's also one preset that you can fiddle with and modify to your own taste. Okay, option number two, is the paid version of a program called Amplitude. Now this is a pretty heavy duty program. This isn't just giving you bass amps, this is also giving you guitar amps. So as well as getting a massive range of amps, you get different types of cabinets, you get different microphones, you get different rooms that you can place the cabinets in, different mic placements, but then you can also add on things like stomp boxes, you can add on rack mounted effects, you can do loads of stuff with this. It's very, very cool. So listen through this demo, things that I like, it makes the bass sound a little bit more defined. We still got quite a lot of weight on the low end, but we just get a slightly clearer sound of the bass. But the thing I really love about this is if you listen to the recording, it does sound as if you can hear the actual air being moved from a cabinet in the same way that you would get if you were to record a cab live. Downsides are it is quite expensive. Depending on which version of the program you get, I think it can go all the way up to about $330. But if you do a lot of home recording and you are looking for a really serious option, and to make an investment then this could be right up your street. However, if you're not looking to spend money, where can you go? So at the time of filming this, there is a free version of Amplitude. Another place you can go if you want a free plugin is to GK Amplification. Now this is modeled on a Galleon Kruger amp, so let's have a listen to it first. Now, considering this is free, I think this is a really impressive option. Yes, there are some limitations on the type of microphones that you can have, and there are a limited amount of presets. It doesn't offer you the same sort of customization that something like Amplitude or even Logic would give you, but this is completely free. And as you hear, it does a pretty good job of actually beefing up the signal. So overall, which option do I think is best? Which do I think you should get? Well, there's a strong case for all three. Starting with the free options, first of all, you might as well get them because they're free. I mean, it's never going to be any skin off your back, it's never going to do you any harm just to have software that doesn't cost you anything and gives you more production options. And as you heard, both the free options actually sounded pretty good. Looking at the semi-paid, semi-free options that we talked about, 
This is another one where you might as well just check it out and take it. I mean, the very fact that you're looking around the internet looking for plugins suggests that you already have a door of some kind, whether that's Logic or Pro Tools, Cubase. So the chances are, if you've got something like Logic, then you've already got the AMP plugins that come with it. So why not check them out? Why not get to grips with it? Last of all, the paid options, I think, yes, they do sound the best. Yes, they do give you the most customization. And I think if you are a particular type of person who does a lot of home recording and either does paid home recording for clients or does paid production work at home, or you just want to take a lot of pride in the recording that you do, I think this is the best option on the basis of audio quality. Yes, by far it's the most expensive, but if you are going to be charging other people for the work that you do, then you really should have professional quality tools. All of that is my opinion, so I really want to hear what you think about this. I mean, which option do you think is sounded the best to you? Which option would you be most drawn to? Leave me a comment down below, let me know about it. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe. But if you want to learn more on how to record bass effectively, check out this video I did up here. This was on the differences between recording bass through a DI versus through an app. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care.